In today's video, I want to discuss an observation I made about myself and trying to improve my art skills. This week, I bought myself some real art supplies. I went to an art shop and bought myself some Winter and Newton watercolor paint, some watercolor paper and some watercolor paint brushes. I was super excited to purchase these things after practicing with dollar store watercolor paint for quite a while. After I bought the items, I immediately went to work. I did decide to start practicing on the old paper I used before buying these items to kind of lower the mental hurdle of immediately starting to practice with new paint and new brushes on pretty expensive paper. I started to follow along a YouTube tutorial in which you paint a kind of background mountain scene and in the foreground you have some grass and trees. I started off really excited to use this new cool paint and brushes and to just see my art skills skyrocket from just buying new materials. But pretty soon I noticed that it didn't really look like how I wanted it to look. And part of this was, of course, I was practicing with new materials, which reacted quite differently from the dollar store materials, which is to be expected, obviously. And really soon I started noticing that the mental hurdle, so to speak, of messing up a painting with relatively expensive materials is way higher than messing up with dollar store materials. I noticed that each mistake had a way bigger impact on how I was feeling about painting than what I was used to. Even though I was feeling all of this, I just kept going because I knew it's normal to struggle with new materials. Just continue and see what the end result will look like. And honestly, I think... Here is the painting. I think the background turned out pretty okay, it looks pretty cool, and I especially like kind of the layering here. Um, I really don't like what the trees look like, but hey, I knew that I needed to practice that, but overall I was pretty happy with the end result. Next I decided to take a leap and actually start painting on one of the more expensive sheets of paper. I did decide to divide the paper in three so that I had three chances of making something that I liked uh, on the expensive paper. So this is what I managed to create and let's see, I think this is right for you but for me it's left. Uh, with this one I kind of like the sky gradient, it's pretty kind of smooth and this was the first time that I tried to create clouds so for the first time I don't think it looks bad at all. Um, I really don't like this lower part, I tried to paint some details but my brush was still way too wet I think so everything kind of just flowed out of the line a little bit so it looks quite strange. <laughs> So I'm not really happy with that, but this part I thought was quite cool. With the middle one, I do really like how it looks. I basically like the lower half. The back mountain is cool, the front mountain is a little bit more meh. But I do really like the reflection in the water and the orange gradients. But then when you go to the upper half, here is a quite a abrupt stop. Um, so I didn't really blend out that uh, transition well enough, but hey, for the first time it's not bad at all. And this little lighter dot was an attempt on creating a moon, but it just looks a bit strange. But yeah, like I said, the lower half looks really, really cool, which is uh, awesome. Then here we have this one, kind of like a night sky with a mountain in the foreground. There are things I like about this one and things I don't. I thought the mountain looks pretty cool and the sky background from the mountain looks pretty cool as well. And here we have a transition that I'm not that happy with. I do really like the color of the darker sky background. I really don't like the stars. This was my first attempt on creating stars, but hey, once again, not too bad for a first try. Up next we have my latest creation. I painted it on the cheaper paper because it just feels less daunting to start painting then. With this one, it was kind of a roller coaster of emotions. Just after starting with the background, I already was like, this looks nothing like the example. It's really bad. I just want to quit and try again. But I was like, mm, 
maybe I should just keep going. The paper is already kind of wasted or at least used, so I should just keep going, use it as practice, and if I really don't like it, I'll try again, and then at least I have done the whole thing once already, so the chances of it going better are pretty big. So I kept going. And I am really glad that I did that because in the end, even though while painting it, it everything felt like it was going wrong, I'm actually pretty happy with the end result. The transitions here are not super smooth but still look pretty cool in my opinion. The trees are a massive improvement from this one. I kind of regret adding this little tree in the end but it, it also looks pretty cute so I guess it's fine. All of this happened and was painted within the last 48 hours and it was quite funny for me to notice that the moment that I actually invested in some better, more expensive material, the act of practicing and creating became a much more daunting task. Because like I said before, messing up with more expensive materials for some reason feels way more like a failure, I guess, than messing up with like dollar store equipment, which isn't really supposed to look good anyway. So if you get a somewhat decent painting out of that, it's like really cool. But if you get a somewhat decent painting out of the more expensive materials, it doesn't feel like as big of an accomplishment. So that was interesting to notice, to say the least. And even though it, like the psychology behind it makes sense to me, it's not really something that I expected. So that just goes to prove once again that trying new things definitely gives you new insights. So yeah, it was really interesting to notice that kind of paradox or dichotomy between wanting to improve and to buy better materials to do that. And at the same time, those better materials leading to it being harder to practice, which is definitely necessary to improve and I'm also really happy that despite me not being ha really happy with pretty much any of the paintings I did decide to just keep going and that I didn't listen to that inner voice that said it's messed up already you can't save it anyway you suck basically and to just stick it out and see hmm, even though it started off looking really bad in my own opinion it turned out to be at least somewhat decent and in some cases even really good so yeah I think that was important for myself to kind of notice and see that so that in the future I can use this experience to just say to myself hey this happened before just stick it through and you'll probably be surprised by the end result and even if the end result turns out to be absolutely awful I still got into practice. So I hope that this story resonated with you. If this is something that you've struggled with as well, please let me know in the comments um, because I'm pretty sure I'm not alone, but it's always good to get that validation. And with all of that being said, I hope to see you in the next video.